What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome to Let's Play Delta Rune Blind. Are you there? I'm, uh, I'm right here. Are we connected? I, th I think so. We should be. Ideally, that's how it's working. I definitely recognize that heart. <laughs> Excellent. Truly excellent. <laughs> Sounds so creepy. Now. Now what? We may begin. Dun dun! First, you must create a vessel. What is going on? Does, does my controller work? No, it doesn't. Darn. Alright, well, as I was saying, welcome to Let's Play Deltarune Blind. If you haven't seen my playthrough of Undertale, that is a must for um, before we play through this. I really enjoyed my time with Undertale, and many of you guys did as well, and have been asking me to play Deltarune. So, here I am. It, this came out quite a few months ago, actually, and... It was released for free, it's now on Switch and PS4 as well, which is really cool. This is the first chapter, there are going to be multiple others. I believe I included the very beginning because it was really weird, the terms and licensing for this program. It was just called like surveyprogram.exe or something like that. And then it was like, you will accept everything that will happen from now on, etc. And now we're in this sort of weird, we're picking a vessel. Uh, so I guess we have a few different options here. We can select the head, I don't know. Let's go with... Probably... Hmm... This is a tough decision I don't feel too particularly invested in any of these. We'll go with that one. Select the torso that you prefer. All of these look so different. <laughs> these all look so incredibly similar. We'll go with this one. I think it's a hoodie. Select the legs that you prefer. For what it's worth, I appreciate that they say, you know, that you prefer. Are these, are these different at all? Are these any different? Is it just like the thickness of them? <laughs> all right, I guess we'll go, we'll go with this one. This is your body. Do you accept it? Sure, that's, um, that's fine by me for now. Does the WAS, does WAS control work? It doesn't. Does um, Z or X work? It does. Okay, cool. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. Interesting. What is its favorite food? This is so interesting. Hopefully I'm not too dusty with, or too rusty with my uh, Undertale knowledge, but I do remember that game making quite a bit of an impact on me when I did finish it up, and I still feel like I've got a decent idea of what's going on, and I don't doubt that you guys will fill me in on all the details as I uh, progress through the story. My, what is your favorite food? Pain? Pain? You kidding me? Sweet, salty, soft? None of these would be like, oh, if it's this, then I'm probably going to like it. Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm probably actually going to go with cold. I think most cold foods are foods that I enjoy. Your favorite, your favorite blood type. Not your blood type, but your favorite blood type. A, A, B, C, and D. Why, where's the O? <laughs> well, I guess, for the record, I, I am uh, blood type B. What color does it like most? It, where's my yellow? Come on, guys. Um, we're going to go with green then for now. Please give it a gift. Mind. Easy, easy money. Give it mind. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. <laughs> um, hopeful. Yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic. Have you answered honestly? I have. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. I mean, as a, as a vessel. Understood. Name your vessel. Alright, we're gonna... We'll go with, um... We'll go with Zero. I'm down for that. 
Man, this is so, like, typical Undertale. We called it Zero. We. And what about the creator? Wait, no, no! I thought I was only going to be naming one character! Alright, um... I guess then, for all intents and purposes... Hmm... We'll go with my name, Nick, for the creator of the vessel, Zero. I guess that works. This this ominous vibe, this super meta feeling, is so Undertale already. Nick. Excellent. <laughs> Truly excellent. Nick, yes, that is my name. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Huh? will now be discarded. Ah, nice. No one can choose who they are in this world. Of course, of course. Your name is, what's my name? Chris? <clears throat> okay, I guess, I guess I'm down for it. Is this Toriel? Chris, if you do not wake up, we'll be late for school. Aw, Toriel. <sighs> Toriel's such a great character. What, what do you guys call her, mom goat or goat mom? <laughs> I will wait outside for you, all right? Sounds good to me. Chris does not seem too enthused. Oh, okay, so we're we're moving around. The drawer is mostly empty, except for a school cross country or cross country shirt with a tear in it. All right. Anything else? There's nothing useful in the drawer. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There is also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Little brother probably always got that one. <laughs> it's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Okay, what do we have over here? It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Clothes drawer. It's a beautiful day outside. All right, I guess that's fair enough. Out we go, Chris. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. That's really funny. We, I mean, we all know that Toriel is super into snails. A cactus, there's not much to say about it. I guess so. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. <laughs> of course, it's not like they're completely discarding all the information we gave away, but the vessel certainly isn't being used. It's only you. Huh. It's only you. As if the norm would be to indicate that there was more than just me, right? The door is locked. Fair enough. Up we go. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of ICs, cool boys body spray, spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. <laughs> that sounds like such a typical like teenage deodorant spray or something. It seems to be almost entirely full. Oh, we must not be that uh, that clean. It's a toilet. Flush it. Yeah. You flush the toilet. Congratulations. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo, and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. I wonder why. Alright. To the kitchen. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove stovetop. This is so interesting. Such a different perspective than the you know, Undertale. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. To be expected. What's in the fridge? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you. Your mother and your brother. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Gingerbread humans? It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. I feel like I'm just thinking of all the different things that could be thrown out. So, like, the... Who is my brother in this case? Is it the the character from Undertale? Is mom and dad referring to Toriel and, um... Oh, what's his name? Asgore? Asgore, I think? It's a landline phone. We already have a cell phone. Of course we do. How else are we going to get in touch and get fun facts from Toriel? It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. <laughs> it's the TV. Doesn't seem to be even be plugged in anymore. Yikes. Are those action figures or something on the windows? It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. 
Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. Azrael, gotcha. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? It's a good question. Couldn't tell you. Oh my goodness, the cats! Wow. I remember all these, well, Librarby. <laughs> That's funny. All these different types of characters, and man, this is bringing back some memories. I do wish I was a little brushed up on my Undertale. Maybe I'll do that between the first and second episode. But here we are, we've made it to school. Is Toriel our teacher? I feel like she should be the teacher. I'm pretty sure this is clearly in the past. Before Undertale. Off we go. So, does everyone have a... Oh my goodness, what's her name again? Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? We all know that moment where it's like, Alright, you guys are gonna be working in pairs for this project. Everyone does that, like, glance around the room, like, first to make eye contact with the everyone who everybody's aiming for. Who do we want to partner up with? Um... We're gonna go with you. Wait, no. Is this a Tem? If this is a Tem, we've got a partner with it. Yes! Crisp! Oh, uh, Ver Versars, Tem already have partner. No! Wait, no, it's, it's the egg? Come on, man, Tem partner with egg! <laughs> oh, I love the Tems. Um, we'll try this guy then. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <sighs> Not. I actually want to get an A. Yikes. How about you? Chris, you know Jackington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. <laughs> what am I talking like this? It's so funny. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Okay, click, click, tap, tap, taken. Yikes. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys. That's what her name is, Alphys. We can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Um, not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Well, yeah, there should be, given you know, the, the number of students in the class. Partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> What'd you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Yikes. My, my bad, man. How about you? Oh my goodness, it's Scraggy. <laughs> you guys, were, I remember in the Undertale, you guys were like, it's Monster Kid. I think that's what he is or something. I just kept calling him Scraggy. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Oh, that's right. It is an odd number, but Tem is partnered with Egg. So, looks like we have to make a group of three. You wanna be partners? Yeah. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Elphis, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! What? B -b Chris doesn't have a... Noel? F fitting. What were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just want to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Yikes. And who might you be? Hi, uh, Susie. Susie? Mm -hmm. Am I late? Oh, no, you're fine. We, we were just... Wait, why is she... Well, I mean, she's clearly an intimidating character, but Alphys is even afraid. Well, Al Alphys is... That's kind of a low bar, but... Choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Mm -hmm. Great. I guess that works. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. And the assignment is... Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. Someone get a little hungry? How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Oh, that's a great plan. 
Uh, anyone? P please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noel. Susie, s since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. Yikes, that, that door slammed too. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Just pawning off her job to Chris, apparently. Okay, so I guess off we go. I guess I can look around at things. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. <laughs> the computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. I figured that would be the case. Oh, Alphys. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's hang out with Susie. Yikes. She just nom-nommed on the, uh, the chalk, it seems. That sound effect, I'm so conditioned. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Oh, we saw everything, Susie. Hmm. You can't even say? Chris. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Don't be doing that. Quiet people, piss me off. Think just because you don't say anything? I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're going to pull the trigger... Oh, no. She's going to be like, why don't I get expelled for beating you up? <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? Oh man, that, that face. About losing your face. Nah. Dang, that, that's spooky. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Bad. Don't bother answering. What? <laughs> Didn't even let me input my answer. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Freak? Huh? You want a you wanna tussle? What was that sound effect? You drink from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Chris? What? Realize the baby classroom is a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Alright, I guess we'll continue up this way. God, can you walk any slower or what? Man, this Susie person is really rubbing me the hard way, or the wrong way. I, I feel like they're going to reveal that she's, there's some, you know, rough backstory to that underlies her current personality, but... Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? Come on, freak. Why are we called freak? We're probably a, like... Oh, that's right, because I'm pretty sure we're like a human that was dropped down here or something like that. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. What's going on? Hey, Chris, is it me, or... Is it really dark in there? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? What's going on? Fine! If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time! <laughs> See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Any luck there, Susie? 
That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. I don't know. I highly doubt we're going to make it out of this closet. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. I wonder if I can turn back. Oh, I still can. I'm surprised. Thought it would have already trapped me. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. Balfus wants chalk so bad she can get it herself. Let's split. And... Door close. Called it. Well, what the... Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out! Let. Us. Uh-oh. The floor, it's... Uh... <laughs> Whoa. It's cool art, though. Big fan of that. Huh? What's with the different lighting and all? And the different appearing character. Where are we? Why do we look this way? Where's Susie? Is this a save point? At times, you see it flickering. The light, only you can see. Ah. Uh, and I see some people are enjoying some fireworks outside. <laughs> By second nature, you reach out and... We save. All these question marks. These foot... The, the sounds of my footsteps and everything. Can I get over there? No? For some reason it's like bouncing around though? Okay. What's going on here? It's too dark to see anything. Ooh, what was that shadow on the top of the screen? Is this like an eye of some sort? Certainly looks like it. Hmm. Alright, we can probably go down here. Yep. So it seems. Is it like a foam monster or something like that? <laughs> That's what I'd bet on. We go down? Probably. So let's check to the right. This looks creepy. It looks like a face. It's too dark to see anything. Do we go left or right? We're gonna go this way. This one looks different. Whoa. Are we, are we doing some real-time combat here? We are. Would you look at that? That's pretty neat. You bathed your body in the light. The power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. <laughs> That's really funny. Eye puzzle? Okay. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Exciting. However, because we've gone this way and it seems that we're progressing, I want to go back and see that area that I uh, missed before. It also appears that at this distance, if I just hold left, I won't actually get hit by any of the projectiles fired at me. So let's go down here. See what's over this way. What is this? There's something glowing inside. Take it? Absolutely. You got the glow shard. What does the glow shard do? Do I have a menu? Probably. But I don't know what the controls are. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and hook up my uh, the usual PS4 controller, which is what I used for Undertale. To see if I can use that for this as well. Uh, it looks like I might have to pause a little bit. On my way to the right. We'll save again. Yes, don't worry, I know I bathed my body in the light. And everyone around me <laughs> shrieked as a result. Um, okay, so what do we have going on here? Obvious patterns. Oh, I see. It just blacks out one in particular, right? So what we're going to want to do is something like that, and then this. Cool. Probably, of course, introducing, I don't know, introducing a mechanic we're going to have to work with a bit more as we move forward, I imagine. What's going on with these? 
Did I like, did I, did I pop it, whatever it was? So it seems. Was that on, was that flashing on the right? Can I climb up this? No, it doesn't seem so. Yeah, they're like coming from behind the, the piles. Hey, hey, back off, come any closer and I'll... Susie? C Chris? Whew. Hey, don't scare me like that, Baka. <laughs> Unless you want to get clocked in the face, huh? <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, no kidding. Um, where is here, anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Alright, I, I, I guess... We can, uh, make that work. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. My bad, man. My bad. Whoa. The art in the background everything. They definitely leveled it up from, you know, Undertale. Which which looked great. Its style was really on point and did great at what it, do, what it did. But it's clear that this is an upgrade. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Well, who are they? Is that a chow? <laughs> it were those spades of some sort? Run, Chris! Sounds good to me. Ooh, I'm a fan. Get a little bit of uh, bullet hell going on here. Is this like the general battle theme we're gonna get for this game? It's pretty hype. It's a little, little, little calm, calmer than I would have expected, I guess. We made it. Nice. Chris, down here. Down we go. Oh, man. And we're still getting attacked while we're down here. Cool. This is interesting. Leave it to Undertale, or rather, Delta Rune in this case, but Undertale, to take its own battle mechanics, which were already really innovative and, uh, I don't know. Yeah, really innovative and just really great at mixing in different types of gameplay in, you know, new manners uh, to do the same thing yet again. And I got lazy as I got to the end and things started to fade out <laughs> as that last spade hit me. What is going on over here? Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. What about over to the right? Can I walk past you, Susie? No, I cannot. Here we go. This looks like a shop of some sort. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside, okay? What's this uh, mystery house here? It's locked. Okay, what about this one? It's locked. Okay. How about this inn? It's locked. Wonderful, just wonderful. Whoa! In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Castle town? What is this, Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I think there's a castle town in that. <laughs> a castle? Why the heck is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Heroes? Hey, hang on a second. <clears throat> Allow me to correct you. What is up, heroes? <laughs> Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward. But both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive. Are you sure, Toby, you didn't work with Square Enix on this one? <laughs> and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. All right, all right. We'll lend a listening ear. Very well, then. Once upon a time... A legend was whispered among shadows. This is really cool. It was a legend of hope and of dreams. It was a legend of light and dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Ooh, there's that title drop. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance. Oh, there's that guy we saw, the, the guy throwing the spades, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. And that calamity would be, the sky will run black with terror. Yikes. There's really cool visuals of them, and the land will crack with fear. 
And I'm like, I'm digging the music too. Then, her heart pounding. The Earth will draw her final breath. Wow, the, the Earth will die? Only then, shining with hope. Three heroes appear at world's edge. Three? A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Yo, that's so cool. I love that imagery too. Only they can seal the fountains. And banish the angel's heaven. The angel's heaven? Or haven? Only then will balance be restored. And the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. So I'll take it we need to make our way there. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. Oh, interesting. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. And so it's up to us, heroes of light, to save the day, I'm sure. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It wasn't all that long of a tale. It was really well done, I enjoyed it. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. You mean, <clears throat> the determination. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny, Delta Warriors? Ooh, ooh, I dig it, I dig it. Uh, nah. W what? <laughs> Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! What? <laughs> oh! The heroes are already running away. He's got like the spade design and everything. Clearly got some sort of mask on maybe or... I didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the heck are you? I'm... The bad guy. <laughs> you clowns wanna steal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns? Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. <laughs> Lancer? Hold on a second, I didn't know I was playing a fake game. <laughs> I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. R really Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Yo! Lancer busts in. This is... This is so cool. This this setup reminds me of Superstar Saga. Um, Alright, so we will... Do I fight? Do I spare? Of course I, I spare, or act. Check, compliment, warning. Let's check. Attack 7, defense 1. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so we set his bike on fire. <laughs> That's really funny. Halt, clowns! This bike is fueled by victory! Whoa! That was not what I anticipated. I guess it's like, what is that bar on the left? TP? Don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. Well, um, we'll compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. It's funny. Susie's still putting in work. Oh. You make my feelings do wheelies. God, I wasn't able to move fast enough. Interesting. My Chris... Chris isn't taking damage. Susie is, though. My TP keeps going up. I'm, I'm so curious as to what all this is. Regardless, we'll give a warning now. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. And it missed. Interesting. So what are you guys doing after this? Any uh, spades or whatever? No? Okay. Lancer's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. Well, we'll keep doing the warning, I guess? Lancer laughs at the idea he would need your help. I guess this might be the only way to make it so he misses consistently. Oh, I'm the bad guy. Oh, did I actually get hit there? 
Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punkaroos. <laughs> you had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you. Ha ha, bye losers. I gotta get home before dinner. <laughs> you won, got zero EXP and 41 DS. D money or something like that, whatever it may be. Some currency, are you two okay? Um, uh, let me introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, all right. Whoa. Interesting. Hello, everyone. I'm Ralse. Ralse? Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that, that's where we'll... Got it. <laughs> See you at school, Chris. Wow, Susie Su is not about it. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope you can be good friends, Chris. Aww. Aw, Ralph say, so, so adorable. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Cool. Can, can I go in here, though? Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Man, this music is really good. I'm loving the visuals. I'm really loving the... Like, look at this place. This is such a cool visual right here. Characters seem neat, music's good and all that jazz. We're gonna save and heal up, right? Ralse, the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. <laughs> all right. And I think what we're gonna do in the next episode is catch up with Susie, start to head to the east where there may be another darkness fountain, and see what we can do there. I think, much like Undertale, we're gonna try to avoid, you know, actually hurting our enemies as much as we can. I still want to figure out what the TP is, I want to figure out a lot of stuff. I mean, clearly this is, you know, a different game, it's got a different combat system, and I really like how it's integrated with the world map as well, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it quite a bit, I hope you guys are as well, I hope you guys are excited for the remainder of the game, I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I hope, uh, it's well worth your guys' wait. But, anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.